I'm Ravi Handa, founder of the website handagafunda.com. Welcome to another solved example on logical reasoning. This one actually deals with the branch of logical reasoning known as crypt arithmetic. Now what happens in crypt arithmetic is that you are given a set of letters. We are given A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K and a set of numbers. We are given 0 to 9 here and you need to figure out which letter represents which number. That's the deal. So let's try and solve that. Now, two numbers are being added up, two six digit numbers are being added up and as a result, you're getting a seven digit number. So in these kind of questions, it is always easier to figure them out one by one. Say for example, if you want to figure out A, J and G, you, you can't really do that just by looking at it. But here, you can very easily figure out the value of A. Why do I say that? B and A can be a maximum of what? Well, the maximum possible value for B and A is 8 and 9 or 17. So a carryover of 1 is the maximum that can be generated. And that carryover will be my leftmost digit, which means the value of A that I'm looking for is nothing else but 1. So if this is one, this is one, this is one, I'll make all the A's one so that my calculations become easier for future. So now just by looking at it, I know all my A's are one. Very similarly, now you can figure out B. Now B plus one should actually generate 11, but B is a digit. So that is not possible. That means the only way this could have happened is if B is 9 and there was a carry over here because then 9 plus 1 of A plus 1 of carry that would have generated 11. So now I have figured out a couple of things. One of them is that A is 1 and other one is that B is 9. Do I have B anywhere else? No. Let's see what else can I figure out. So I have H, H and F and that should generate a carry. So if I have 6, 6, then 12 can be there, 7, 7, 14 can be there, 5, 5, 10 can be there. So this doesn't really help me because a lot of numbers when added with itself will generate a carry. Let's see if I can figure out something from here. F plus F is giving me F. How is that possible? Two numbers being added up and then they are giving you the same number. The only way that is possible is if f is 0 because 0 plus 0 is indeed 0. So if these three are 0, that means this is also 0. So that tells me that this h and h that we were adding up, they are nothing else but 5 and 5 because these 5 and 5 will add up to be 10 and I'll have a carryover of 1. So now I have figured out the value of f as 0 and h as 5. So I have four values. I have made some progress. So this was also 0. And now look at this. 1 and 0 is giving me c. How is that possible? 1 and 0 should give me 1. But if this was 1, I would have had an a here. But I don't have an a here. I have a c here. That means 1 plus 0 is not giving me 1. It is giving me something else. The only way it can give me something else is if 1 plus 0 has some sort of a carryover here and the value of C that we are looking for is 2. So now I have the value of C as 2 here. So I figured out a lot of things. There are a few still remaining, but the parts that I am sure of is the first part or the left part here which is 95 plus 15 is giving me 110. I'm also sure of the last digit, which is 0 plus 0 is simply giving me 0. The part that I'm not sure of, which is still has some variables, is 1, 1, G plus J, 0, K is giving me G, 2, 1. So the values that I still do not know are G, J and K. 
And what do I know about them? That G plus K should generate a carryover of 1. In terms of digits, I have used 0 for F, 1 is used for A, C has been 2, 5 has been used by H and 9 has been used by B. So G, J and K now need to come from 3, 4, 6, 7 and 8. So let's see if any of them fits. Suppose I put G as 8. So if I put G as 8 here, then 8 plus what will generate a carryover of 1 and a value of 1 here? K needs to be 3. Also, 1 plus J is G, which means this value has to be 7. What if G is 7? Let's try that also. If G is 7, then K will have to be 4. Once I have K as 4 and then J is 1 lesser, so this is 6. This also fits. Now, can G be 6? No, G cannot be 6 because then I will need 6 plus 5, K to be 5 and K cannot be 5 because H is already 5. So this is not possible. How about 4? So if I put G as 4, then K will be 7 because 4 plus 7 will be 11 and J is 1 lesser than that. So J will be 3. Can G be 3? No, that is not possible because G is 3 and K is 8. This part would fit. But J has to be 1 lesser than 3 and J cannot be 2 because C is already 2. So the value of 3 for G is rejected because we could not get a corresponding value of J here because J cannot be 2. The value of G as 6 is rejected because we could not get the value of K as 5. So there are three possible sets for the values of G, J and K. On the other hand, the values that we are sure of are A for 1, B for 9, F for 0, H for 5 and C for 2. You might have realized that we have not used all the letters which were given to us. That's correct because we have only used 8 letters here. So what are the letters that are left? D and E are left. And how will you define D and E? Well, if J, K, J are going to be 8, 7, 3, then out of 8, 7, 3 are used, out of these 5, 8, 7, 3 are used, what is left? 4 and 6 are left. So they could be any of these two. We have no information about this. If you use 7, 6 and 4, so that means you are using 7, 6 and 4, then D and E could be 3 and 8. And if you use 4, 3 and 7, so if you use 4, 3 and 7, then they could be 6 and 8. So there are three possibilities for DE also. Now, we have three possibilities for GJK. We have three possibilities for D and E. And among these possibilities also, it is possible that D is 4 and E is 6 or the reverse that D is 6 and E is 4. So there are a lot of choices that are available to us. Let's have a look at the questions. First one, what letter does A represent? Now this we are very clear. We have found out that the value of A is 1. What letter does B represent? B also we very easily and very clearly found out as 9. Which among the digits 3, 4, 6 and 7 cannot be represented by the letter D? So D could be 3 here, D could be 4 here, D could be 6 here or D could be 8 here. So the possibilities for D are 3, 4, 6 and 8. D cannot be represented by 7. So my answer from these options will be 7. Which among the digits 4, 6, 7, 8 cannot be represented by the letter G? So G from here we can say can be 8, 7 and 4. So if G can be 8, 7 and 4, G cannot be 6 and 6 becomes our answer here. So the questions become really, really simple if you have solved the crypt arithmetic if you have solved the puzzle properly.
Hope you learned something from this video. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of future videos.